Hey, this is Brent with Vintage Statements, and today we've got this nice piece of wood that we're going to turn into a serving tray. It's going to make it look like a uh, butcher's cleaver, so follow along as we change this board into something pretty cool. All right, step one is to create a template that we're going to follow. And I just so happen to find a Kellogg's Frosted Flakes box that'll work perfect. This is the template that we're going to use. It's going to be quite the size, but I like it. Big handle, big serving area. We've put this on here, we've created our template, and now what we're going to do is we're going to start cutting it out. We're going to use a couple different tools. We're going to use my miter saw for straight lines, and then we're going to use the skill saw down here, the jigsaw to uh, get in here as best we can, and then we'll progress from there. So, let's begin. All right, we started using the skill saw here, the jigsaw, but ran into our serious problem here. My blade's not long enough. So, we cut it down as far as we can. I'm gonna chip this out, create the template on the other side, and uh, go back again and uh, jigsaw the rest of it out for us here. And then we'll start working from there. All right, looks pretty rough, but we'll get it all cleaned up here. Uh, we're gonna use a chisels and a hammer, and we'll just clean up as much as possible here. And then we'll start giving it some more shape and we'll continue from there. So the first part of that took about 20 minutes, uh, it was a little bit thicker than we thought. Got it roughed out. Now we're going to use our 100 grit sandpaper and just kind of rough sand this out, give us some, some character, give us the, the base to it, and then we'll just work our way down um, to 120, 150, down to 220 and so. Um, but first we're going to spend a long time using this 100 grit to get this thing down to where we want it. So, we better get started. Day one, we're starting to lose some sun here, so we're gonna call it a day, and then uh, maybe tomorrow we'll start hitting it again at the uh, 100 grit. We'll get a filing cap, uh, a file in here, and we'll clean this up. We'll get some more sanding in these rough edges, and then we'll keep going. But the look of it's coming out really nice. A lot of the nice grain in it, so we should have a nice uh, tray here at the end. All right, we've got it all sanded down. We're gonna use our butcher block conditioner. We're gonna do this quite a few times, every 20 minutes, uh, three or four rounds of it, see how it absorbs it. Um, got an old pair of Marie's yoga pants here. Hopefully she doesn't find out I'm using them, but <laughs> we will start the process. It's pretty straightforward, put it on, polish it off. up some butcher block um, either hors d'oeuvres or um, just kind of serving platters. They turned out amazing. They are nice and heavy. Um, two different kinds of wood. Uh, you guys got to see him actually sand down and cut this one and then this one is another um, piece of that live wood. They turned out awesome. I think they would be great for like any um, any type of party. Just throw some um, cheese, some meat on there, some crackers, and you're good to go. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel, let us know if you have any questions.